Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. K. This is Eric. Yeah, today is the 17th of November 2021, and the time now is 6.16 a.m. Well, today is a bi-weekly review, and the topic I would like to talk about is, uh, firstly, it is about um, the video review, which is you're not lazy, bored, or unmotivated. And then uh, the second is a very short one, which is I would like to uh, kind of like make a conclusion uh, is the presentation skill. So uh, these are the two topics I would like to talk about. How about you? Uh, I would like to talk about uh, the thought experiment regarding the body part. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. The, uh, the value of your body part. Yeah. Only All one. right. Okay. Yeah. So before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. So here we go. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah, I think I start my uh, review first, which is a very short one. Okay. And uh, that is about the presentation skill. And that day we came across uh, many techniques and then uh, to be used in our uh, in the presentation. And uh, after that, you give uh, uh, some other suggestions, which is uh, um, four of it, which is the first is be the person who can discuss the content. And second is uh, understand what uh, what the, what you are talking. And number three is be critical to your point. And number four is uh, subtraction. So um, yeah, I found that the the suggestion that you give, um, yeah, I totally agree with this. Uh, this is the core of the presentation, um, uh, which is like. Uh, that the content that you are uh, uh, you are delivering. So I think this is uh, uh, this is the the core. And if you look about uh, if you look at the presentation skill uh, in the video, and then you you can find that all of the all of the things that uh, it line up, uh, uh, it it actually deals very little with the content with the content itself. So. Um, so I think uh, the suggestions of yours is the core, and then uh, in every presentation uh, we must focus on the on the core uh, first, and then after that uh, you can kind of uh, use a little bit presentation skill, and uh, those presentation skill, however, in uh, in another hand on on another hand, I think uh, it deals with uh, the. <coughs> Maybe the emotion part uh, for the for the listener, yeah, the emotion part for the listener, and then also for the presenter. Yeah, this is uh, some of my uh, thinking um, because uh, one part we are dealing with the core. Uh, what are we going to deliver to the uh, to the audience? And the other part is uh, dealing with um, uh, kind of like the emotion part, and then whether you please. Uh, the audience uh, more, whether you make them uh, uh, feel less uh, tired, less boring, uh, maybe you kind of like uh, um, making your presentation more interesting. Yeah, so this is something like uh, you, you want to um, decorate your your whole presentation. So this is uh, shouldn't be the the main thing, the priority of uh, presentation. Yeah, so um, uh, this is for uh, this topic, uh, uh, sh uh, s some conclusion and also some of my thinking. Yeah, uh, first, uh, thank, uh, thank you for your agreement. So, yeah. and uh, about, uh, about the presentation strategy, if uh, you can try to apply it to other aspects for example let's say investment mm. the first uh, in presentation is, is be the person who can discuss the content 
yeah. you are talking. And if you bring to investment, this is become be the person who are able to make the investment. So what does it mean? Maybe you need, uh, uh maybe you need, um, a strong, uh, income earning ability so that mm. you can do the dollar cost averaging even though the market keep dropping, and and you need to and you need to really study well about the market about the ticker you're investing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is it the second? And, Understand what we are investing something like that. Hmm. And no, uh, yeah, this is this is also, and the second, uh, uh, uh I go back to the first one first, and, and mm -hmm. the first one is also you may need a good risk management. You may need to know, uh, how much how much money you can lose, yeah, so that you you don't put you you, you don't you don't over leverage. You don't use leverage. You don't put too much money that you can't afford to lose. So you you can hopefully become the person who can make the investment and won't be like uh screw out. Yeah. And about the second, knowing what you no know, in presentation is is knowing what you are talking, knowing what you are saying. And yeah. in investment it could be knowing what you are doing. Mm. What strategy you are using? Dollar cost averaging, or you, are you trying to buy low and sell high? And uh, how will you do that? If you sell, uh, if you buy here, does it mean that it can go up? And if not, what would you do? And if you sell here and and you you hope you can buy back at a uh, at a lower price, uh, at a uh, at a lower price, but what price are you going to buy in? And also, when are you going to buy in? Yeah. For example, let's say, um, uh, you say, the, uh, when the price drop 10%, you, uh, uh, you will buy back. So you sell, you sell at the current price first, and then when the, when the stock price, uh, uh, when the price drop like 10%, you will buy back. And or twenty percent, or thirty percent, or fifty percent, or sixty percent. But how do you know when it will hurt, or it never will hurt? Yeah. So what is your management? For example, you expect the price can go up. Let's say maybe, maybe one, uh, may, maybe two times, or maybe like one hundred percent or two hundred percent in five years time. But you don't know, you don't know uh, when you will achieve your target price. It can achieve uh, at any time. It can achieve in uh, tomorrow. It can achieve like uh, three years later or five years later. You certainly don't know. And what if you sell here and then it it keep going up? Mm. Yeah, maybe uh, if uh, maybe uh, some after some months it will drop, but it never drop back. Your, your, uh, your, your selling price. That means if you want to buy back, you need to buy at a higher price. Then are you are you go uh are you doing uh, are you risking? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, are you risking hundred percent or twenty uh, or two hundred percent profit to exchange the ten percent potential? uh to to mitigate to mitigate the the 10 percent or 20 percent uh uh loss yeah so it is a wood break yeah so uh knowing what you're doing uh, is the second one mm. yeah and the third one is uh be critical uh, yeah uh, the third one is a critical and then the fourth one is the uh, do the sub uh, uh do the subscription yeah and uh talk about the fourth one first yeah mm. and because he linked to the second one and okay. many, many long-term investors they will try to minimize 
the trait they make. So that means uh, they don't trade frequently. Yeah. And they don't, they, uh, they, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't, uh, they don't like uh, take action frequently, be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is also uh, make sense in invest in investing. You need to do subtraction, uh, but not the uh, addition. And also about your strategic mindset. Yeah, uh, although you need to like think in deep, uh, think think more broad, but actually. Uh, they would have one point. If somebody asks you to explain why you invest this and why you use uh, any kind of strategy and you can use one sentence or two to explain why you're doing that. Yeah. So you, you don't need to spend a whole hours to, to, to tell what, uh, uh, why you do that. Uh, <clears throat> why you invest that and why you use that kind of strategy you don't need that yeah of course if 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 the time is given and you you certainly can do that and but you can use but you can use a very short time to explain things yeah yeah just like the presentation mm -hmm. uh, if, if 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 this is an expert and you want them you want them to talk for an hour you want them to talk for Two hours for every two, <clears throat> they can do that. But this is a presentation. Yeah, in uh, in presentation, their their job is use ten minutes or twenty minutes to explain the whole thing mm. to give you a big idea. Yeah, so it's also linked to the female learning methods. Yeah, <clears throat> and the third one, which is uh, critical to your point, yeah, this is. This is very, very important in investment and also in every other area because you need to ask yourself the opposite question. Yeah. So you need to find the opinion against you, against your position. Yeah. So that it also linked to the risk, man uh, risk management. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay, why is, uh, why is the next topic you want to make a review? Okay, uh, the next one is the one which is the uh, the last video uh, video uh, video review, which is the you're not lazy, bored, or unmotivated. Yeah, for this topic, um, uh, at the end you you actually throw a a, a sharing uh, to me, right? Uh, which is like. Uh, if you want to change your course of uh, the, the course of uh, your life, and then uh, you have got two basic, uh, you have got two methods, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, and then the first one is like uh, uh, you can switch your focus to uh, your focus and your efforts to fix our mind, mm. and then to find our focus, to affirm our power, to visualize uh, positive outcomes. Mm. Uh, this is the first method, and the second is just do it, uh, which is also the uh, the the strategy that we discuss uh, on that day uh, topics, and then um, yeah, and and after that you 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 didn't give an answer, right? So uh, uh, I keep thinking this question, and I found that um, uh, yeah, on previous topic we have one which is like. Uh, the um uh, the, the the way to get happiness and then uh, we have uh, kind of like the uh, mm. the the abc right the attitude behavior uh, cognitive mm. and then uh, it, it, on that topics uh, i think uh, that is a that, that is the part for method 1 yeah the first method uh, it is dealing with uh, mind uh, and then uh, we also visualize, uh, and then we also like motivate ourselves. Um, but also on that day, I remember you uh, did mention that uh, taking action is uh, is 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 something that cannot be uh, uh, can, can cannot be ignored. 
uh, otherwise the other uh, uh, no matter what we do uh, either is attitude behavior or cognitive and it doesn't work so uh, goes back to uh, the two methods I think uh, yeah two two of these methods uh, should be done uh, together and if we if we choose method one uh, we uh, we we maybe we will uh, kind of like uh, lack of actions and then or maybe go into a situation like the self-help topics and then maybe we keep like uh, finding something to to learn and then to uh, to to get more knowledge and then uh, but we actually didn't take much action so uh, uh, this is uh, not a good way and then if we take second method uh, I think this is better than taking the first method because at least you do it and after you do it and uh, maybe you will face uh, some challenges and then uh, but you keep doing you keep uh, continue doing it and uh, you will get something yeah so um, but if you take uh, two methods uh, simultaneously uh, I think this is uh, a kind of like uh, is the best uh, among the three uh, choices. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. And if you want to rank this three method, which one, uh, of course, you'll say combine together, uh, mm. combine, combine first and second is the best one. And why is the second? Why is the last? Why is the last? Uh, or why is the least effective method? Mm. Yeah, the least effective should be the uh, only method one. Yeah, just do method one. Mm. Yeah, and no yeah. action uh, is taken. No, uh, actually, uh, actually, method one is like this, and uh, like you, uh, like you try to visualize the possible, uh, possible outcome and affirm your power, and then fix your mind, and then, uh, uh try to, uh, try to like, uh. Uh, try to like uh, uh, flatten, flatten your emotions, and then yeah, do all the things uh, you can do in your mind, and then so you can do the things what you need to do. Mm. Yeah, so uh, this is something like uh, <clears throat> the first one. Eventually, also need to get through the 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 the, the doing things. But before the doing thing, he do a lot of preparations. Mm. And mm. is the preparation really needed? Sometimes, uh, I, I would say actually most of the time is, is, uh, is, uh, you don't need that. You don't need that preparation. You just go for it. For example, you, you are going to swimming, you are going to swimming pool and you can, uh, so the, the key point is you need to go into the water, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, how can you swim? And then you can choose each of uh, you can choose uh, each of two met uh, you can choose two of the methods. Yeah, you can choose one of the two methods. The first is uh, you <clears throat> you slowly you slowly test the water temperature. Yeah, and then. Uh, you tell yourself the water is not cool and the water is warm mm. and then and then you and then you use different you use different body part you use different body part to test the water and try to make your body uh, uh, get used to the temperature and then yeah. and then you can wear your uh, your swimming uh, uh, your, your swimming glasses mm. and then you can like uh, uh get tight, yeah, get get tight your swimming suit, and then and then uh, uh get the swimming hat, and then adjust it at a uh, at a good uh, uh at a good uh, uh at a good fit, and then you can use the water to to kind of like the uh, uh uh take the water. On, on your whole body, yeah, 
Mm. So take the water on your whole body so that your, your whole body is wet. Yeah. So uh, it will cool down your temperature. Uh, it will cool down your body temperature. Yeah. So so when you go into the water, you won't feel that cold. Yeah. And then you slowly, mm. slowly go into the water. Or the second method, you can use just jump into the water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and second matter, you uh you will have uh a few seconds, few seconds feel uncomfortable, and but mm. after that you get used to it. Mm. Yeah. 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 So it's just like something about uh. Mm, you want to say you want to say uh, for the first method, the the whole preparation is it useful or not? Yeah, yeah, it is useful because uh, it help you get uh go into the water. But does it necessary? Uh, most of the time, it's not. You can directly jump into the water. Mm. Mm. And could it be another situation? For example, uh, we talk about the first method. Um, when we were preparing ourselves for uh, for some maybe decision or action uh, to be done in the future, and uh, but maybe uh, when we were uh, dealing with our our mind, and then uh, maybe we uh, uh, we are like dealing with our fear, and then uh, uh, it it could be some uh, possibility that we decided not to do it uh, because uh, um, when we deal with the fear, maybe we we find that uh, 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 maybe this is uh, this is something that I uh, I I shouldn't do something like that. And mm. then we give up and we didn't, uh, don't even take action uh, because maybe too much worries. And then uh, uh, maybe some of the worries don't even, uh, w won't even happen if you do it. Yeah, yes. Mm. And also uh, talk about our ABC and actually the most effective method in ABC is take action. And then when you make, uh, when you behave in some uh, in some way, and then you bring your attitude uh, up up to the up to the same level. Instead of you fix your mind, change your attitude, change uh, change your connections, and and try to and try to make a behavior uh, up to the same level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the most effective way is change your behavior first. And then you you can slowly uh, move up your connections and then also your attitude. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And also we have we have many we have many uh, codes and many uh, big lessons, many uh, many useful lessons, which is like for example in coding. Uh, don't talk, and show me the code. Yeah. So that means you don't talk, just show me the codes and then I will read the codes and then I will understand what you are talking. Mm. Yeah. Instead of you teach me uh, how you achieve that, use like the loop and inside you use maybe the vectorizations and you use uh, 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 what kind of what kind of method to achieve. Don't need, you just give me the code and then you give me the code and then I, I look at it and if I don't understand, uh, if if there's one part I don't understand, I ask you, mm. yeah, and then you explain to me. Yeah, they, uh, they will be much uh uh, uh they will be much faster. Yeah, and mm. also, in investing in trading, we have one, uh, we have one code which is don't see what they say, but see what they do. If somebody say, yeah, for example, let's say, uh. Uh, like like few months ago, the Goldman Sachs say that, uh, uh, they will hold they will hold the Chinese stock because the fundamental is good. But if you but if you look at but, but if you look at their action, they are selling. <laughs> so which one you are going to you are going to believe? You you are going you you you, you have to believe that uh, in their action, not not what they say. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So. Uh, behavior is more important than attitude than connections. 
Mm. And also one another thing which is uh you can also affirm your power, you can also fix your mind, you can also like uh readjust your emotions after you do it. You don't have to do it before you take action. Mm. Yep. Mm. And this is what the connective therapy. Yeah, connective therapy is not only uh, do the thing before you take action and also after you take action. Yeah. Mm. And also the, the three methods, uh, the three methods to increase your belief. Right? The three methods increase your belief. First, what is the first? The first is taking action. Yeah. Why it is the first method? Because this is the most important one. You take action and then the self-fulfilling uh, prophecy will help you. And then and then the uh the self uh uh not only the self-fulfilling prophecy and and then also uh what is it called? I I I I forget I forget the terms. It's something like maybe self-efficacy or maybe yeah uh uh uh, there, there is one of the theory, but I forget. Uh, this is something like uh, we view ourselves same as we view other people. And if other people go on stage and give a good speech, mm. maybe not good. Uh, 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 maybe uh, maybe not the good speech, but but he did give a speech, and then we will think, wow, this person is confident. Yeah, is thoughtful. Uh, is is brave. Yeah. Yeah, he dared to give a speech in front of so many students, so many mm. teachers, so many professors. So he's confident, he's, uh, uh, he's capable, or she. Yeah, and yeah, so uh, when you do the same thing, you will also view, your, uh, you also view yourself only have this personality. Mm. Yeah, so taking action is very important, yeah. Yeah. Because when you take action, automatically it will bring your attitude up to the same level. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and second, it, yeah, is and, it yeah, the, the self perception just now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's that one. Yeah, uh, uh, self, uh, self perception, yeah, perception theory. Yeah. yeah. And the second is imagining, imagining success, imagining success, and so yeah, this is this is a uh, this is a uh, preparations. Yeah, it can help you. Uh, maybe when you feel anxieties, you feel fear, and you are going to take actions. But, uh, but just one second before you take action, you can spend. Uh, you can spend a few seconds to imagine your success, and then after that, you just go for it. Yeah. Yeah. And the third is cognitive therapies. It, it help you. Cure, help you cure your 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 emotion, cure your mind. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but taking action is is the most important thing here also. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, any other thing you want to add in for this uh, uh, topic review? Uh, no. Okay, and mm. yeah, I would like to talk about. The thought experiment, which is the body part, and actually, uh, I forget, I forget to include the, uh, the thought of the thought experiments in in that day. And okay, what thought I want to add in is actually, okay, actually the the idea is is, uh, uh, uh the concept, the concept of the thought experiment that I want to bring. They want to uh, uh, carry on is actually uh, the concept I learned a few years ago in a lecture, which is uh, I told you before uh, the, the lecture about uh, about the human brains. Yeah. So uh, how we behave, and actually in that course we have one of the section which is about the health. Yeah, the health, and the lecturer. Uh, explain the things from 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 another perspective which is how much money uh, we are willing 
to give up one of your body part. For example, if somebody wants to buy your eyes, maybe mm. not both eyes, it's one, it's one of the eyes. Yeah. The one of the eyes. And then how much money you are going to sell? 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, 1 million. Yeah. And how about the, how about your limb? Yeah, one arm or one leg. How much money you are going to sell? Mm. Mm. Or your nose or your ear? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, this is, Mm, uh, so this is something that, uh, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, you can say this is something like uh, the author, uh, because the uh, sorry, uh, sorry uh, I miss uh, the lecturer. The lecturer had, uh, uh, has his own motive because he he trying to bring out the point which is, uh, health, yeah, health is the, uh, health is the is the biggest wealth. Yeah, and you are right. And the the, the lecturer actually uh, want to bring up a point. Yeah. Mm. So if you don't, uh, if we don't have well, it doesn't matter because we uh we have a good health. Yeah. We still have our we still have both eyes. We still have uh uh the limb. Yeah. We still have uh a complete complete uh, arm, complete leg. Mm. Yeah. We still have the uh, hearing ability, we still can feel the things, we still can taste the food, we still can listen to music, we still can smell. Uh, 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 smell the... Uh, 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 smell the things, okay. And yeah. So, uh, even though you if, even though you, you don't have you don't have a lot of money, but uh, but you still have a but you still have a complete body, and then you didn't lose any of them, and then you are not going to sell them for any for any amount of money. Yeah, no matter like five hundred thousand, one one million. Yeah, so mm. try to imagine if you add up. Uh, if you do some calculation, add up uh, uh, the money, the money uh, of your whole body part, maybe eyes worth one million. Yeah, one one million. Yeah, you're also not going to sell. And then your limp, maybe two million. You're not going to sell. And then how about hearing ability, and smell, touch, taste. Yeah, you add up all together. You are a billionaire, something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's it's one of the perspective. It's one of the perspective, and uh, you can say it's useful, and uh, it can it can give us some uh some some guide, and and uh uh like guide them, and also uh. Let them have the awareness, which is we need to take care of our health. Yeah. And here I want to, I also want to bring out the same point, which is mm. how much does it work? Yeah. And also not only how much does it work, and then how much money you, you spend on it to maintain the functions. And also, are you willing to exchange the organs with money? If yes, how much? And then, yeah. And then, how much money you earn from that organs? Yeah. And the last question is, I, I think it's the most important question. Yeah. Mm. Because, uh, for example, we use our, we use our eyes and to look at the computer screen and then, uh, uh, many people, yeah, many people spend, spend a lot of time, uh, Keep looking on the computer screen or keep looking at the phones, and then yeah. it's kind of like uh, using the eyes function to earn the money. And how much money you earn from that? Mm. 
Yeah, and also how much money is spent to take care of the organ, to take care of the organ functions. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is the, uh, this is the, the kind of the thoughts, the concept I want to bring out from this, uh, from this thought experiment. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, just now you talk about, you use the term take care, right? Uh, mm. So it is not to keep, right? It is not to, to keep the organs. It is like uh, taking care. So mm. does it mean some health investment uh, yeah. in our life? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> but I mean, uh, but don't overdo, uh, but don't overdo the concept, because um, it may give you an excuse to buy a lot of supplements, hmm. to buy a lot of expensive products, take care of your health. Yeah, but um, is it good? Uh, I don't think it's good. <clears throat> yeah. Or maybe you can. You can change, or uh, you can change the the money to time. Uh, how much money you spend on it? How much money you spend to take care of organs? Yeah. How much effort? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, anything want to add in? Uh, no. Mm. Okay, so that's all for our today's conversations. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversations? Please tell us what you think of our conversation. And we are not making speaker if we found any vocal mistake mistakes we made. Please also comment to let us know. Because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to like subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.